My name is Moises Saman and I'm a photographer. Uh, for me, home is a very difficult concept because I, I was born in Peru, but I grew up in Spain, then I live in America and in the Middle East, now I'm in Japan, so I've been moving around a lot. For me, uh, it was important to go back to Peru and to, to really, you know, try to sort of uh, get to know the country where I was born but it's a country that I don't know very well because I haven't really spent much time in the past. So, so it's sort of like searching for my home, you know, and in a way. From almost 4,800 meter in the Andes to, to the coast, through the Amazon and uh, the scenery, the, the people, the food, the culture. It's really amazing and diverse. It's, it's strange, you know, I feel this sort of connection, but at the same time, uh, this connection to the place. And this is another picture. This I took in a, in, in a place that was a battlefield where Peru fought the Spaniards for independence. And it's a place called Junin. The area, there's absolutely nothing there. There's no tourists or anything. And you gotta keep in mind that I'm actually half Spanish, half Peruvian. So this was a very uh, confusing place for me. I took a picture of this man who is missing an arm. He was trying to buy oranges and he was sort of holding his money on his wallet with, with his mouth. And also there was sort of like the local prostitute that was also there to work <laughs> with, the, with the people that work in the port, you know. And this turned out to be a transvestite, actually. The place was rough and the people that were there were rough and, and her job must be really horrible, you know. But at the same time, there was something about her, sort of the way she was put together that was really dignified and really sort of um, resilient in a way. And that was sort of my idea of Peru. Yeah, real life and just, uh, you know, with the good and the bad and, and, you know, just to be honest about your country, you know, and I should be able to know where I come from. That's, that's something that before I didn't really think too much about and now I, I think about it more. Well, this is, uh, this is uh, some work that has been published in National Geographic, part of a longer project that I'm working on, on Iraq. Uh, ISIS in the areas of Iraq where, uh, that have been liberated and and here are some of the images. Um, I mean, this is just the edit that the magazine obviously decided on. But um, yeah, this was particularly sad uh, situation, a very difficult life that this family had living in this area that had been destroyed by the bombing, by the war. Yeah, unstable. Some places are a little bit more uh, challenging to, especially as a photographer. And and yes, any time that you're working in a conflict uh, zone, it's uh, it's dangerous for for just not for me, but also for the people that live there. You know. It's about this sort of gray area between good and bad and between the victims and the perpetrators. And this ambiguity is something for me that's quite important to capture because from my experience covering conflict and war, it, it, it's, uh, it's not so black and white, you know, it's not so uh, clear to see between the lines. So that's something that I look for in, in the different places that I work and it's a, sort of a bigger theme to my work, yeah. We 
Yeah, editing is a difficult process. And now I'm still sort of going through the material and that's why I still don't have a clear idea of what the final pictures will be. You know, the deadline was too near. And sometimes when I go to take pictures, I like to leave a time to then think about editing and because then you sort of miss a lot of things, you know? And I guess you need to find some sort of thread that, that unifies them together, but it's difficult. And I'm still sort of changing my mind every day because I see new pictures and, and I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should add this one and take another one out. And so I might still do that if there's time, you know? Uh, my role as a photographer, um, just to sort of bring a little bit of uh, empathy and make you perhaps realize that this could be you or this could be your children or this could be anybody and uh, maybe hopefully make you appreciate also more what you have and you know. The older I get, the more sort of, I think, hopefully mature my work also gets and that hopefully translates to, to more interesting work, you know? Photography, it's, it's many things for me. It's, uh, it's my job, it's the way I express myself, it's uh, my language, I suppose. It's a privilege and, it's, uh, and it's, it comes with big responsibilities as well. <laughs>